Hi, this is Gloria Schur with Close to My Heart. I'm here to show you how to use a digital stamp. A lot of people have been asking me um, about them, and so I wanted to show you um, how to take one and what to do with it. So first you find, you can go to Google and search for free digital stamps, or right here I found one at the Whoopsie Daisy blog spot. And it's, um, you can just go to Google and search Whoopsie, W-H-O-P-P-S-I-E, Daisy, dot blogspot dot com. But I will um, give you the address on this video as you watch it. So basically I went in there and there's a freebie here. Sometimes it says download under it, but this one doesn't. So you just right click with your mouse and go to copy. This is one way to do it. There's more than one. Go to your Word document and then you paste it, okay? So now this little digi's here and right click again. You'll see the measurements here. It's 4.17 for the height and 2.94 for the width. Now 4.7 is bigger than what I want it. I usually um, put it down to around 3 or 3. This one will be 3.5 because you can see there's space above it and there's space below it. So that's adding into that 3.5. So you don't have to, you know that there's at least another probably um, half an inch of space that you don't need. So it's going to be about 3 inches for the little girl. So now she's done. You can see there's still a square around there. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. That there's a square around it to show you what space is... is um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to show you that the space around it. And basically, um, you, now I want to show you if this was a sentiment or something that you wanted to change the color on, you would right click again on it. And then down at the very bottom, this is Format Picture. And then you go to, there's all kinds of things you can do to this. I don't use any of those, but I do go to Picture Color if it's a sentiment and I want to change the color of it. And that changes the outline of it. So picture color. Then over here where it says presets. And there's a little drop down box. It says recolor. You can see all the different colors that are here. Now there's orange at the bottom. There's orange and aqua. And there's purple. And there's green. And there's red. I'm going to choose red just so you can see what it looks like. And then you click close. So now she's red. Now I don't want to do that. Because I'm going to color her. So basically I go back to the format picture. Go back to picture color and reset it. And they'll put her back to being the black and white. Which is what color you want to use. So now if you're going to print this. You want to print it on cardstock if you're going to color it. Because you put it on paper and it won't color very well. So the best thing to do is um, to go into your function, into your system. And you should have, on if you go into the left hand corner of most computers. I don't know about the Mac. But the, there should be a thing that says devices and printers. Or you can go to your control panel and find it. So devices and printers. And you go into your printer and right click it. Mine's HP. This is how I do it on mine. Now yours may be a little bit different. Then it's going to say printing preferences. And you go over here to your product which mine's the HP. You want to change the paper and the quality. You're going to change the paper. See how it says plain? I don't know if you can see that or not. It says plain paper. And so I'm going to change it to uh, cardstock. And that's the last one on the list. So I'm changing it to cardstock. And um, I'm going to zoom back out of this so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to change it to best for the quality settings. Because you've got best, normal, draft, or custom. And best is what I usually do. So then you're going to say apply. And it's going to say, "Can I? do you want me to resolve the conflicts? And I say yes, because I've got it where it double sides. And you can't do that when you're printing these. So then I do OK. So now it's ready to print. And I just shrink this down so I can change it back. And then I would just go up to the print and print it. And do a page, um, which I'm not going to do uh, at this time. Well, I could print it, but it's going to be it's not going to be cardstock. So I'll just print this little girl so you can see what it looks like. She's going to print off of there. And... Um, then what you do is you can actually put it in your Cricut if you wanted to. This is what I do a lot. I'll put it in my Cricut and I'll do center point and I'll find the center, estimate the center of what I think is her center. Uh, I usually measure her first to make sure how exact she is. Not how big this square is, but how exact she is. So here is a picture of her and you can see she's um, not very big. Uh, you could probably make it this a little bit bigger. So she's probably not more than three inches at the most. I don't think she's that big. But I measure her and estimate where the center point is for her. And then I put it in the Cricut and use the center point button. And then I pick out the shape, of course, what I want to do uh, with her. You can put her in any kind of shape you want. There's frames. There's all kinds of things you can do with it. Or if you have spell binders, you can put, her, put it in a um, spell binders into the uh, whatever you use a Cricut. I mean a cart, um, sorry, kettle bug 
or your um, Grand Caliber. I have the Grand Caliber and the Cuddle Bug. I use Grand pa Caliber the most. And you can put a frame around her, find one that she fits in, and cut it out and then color it. I usually cut it out first because what I've found is if I color it first, I will discover that I mess up on it and then I will have, um, have to start all over again. Either way, you can color it first, you can do the cutout first. I like to do the cutout first. And then you go from there to make your make your card. Um, so it's pretty easy to use. And uh, if you have any questions, um, hopefully that you can uh, find um, other videos or you can send me an email and I'll put my email, uh, um, put my blog spot on there for you to go to. I use lots of digitals so you can see different ways to use them and different ways to use your products. Um, again, you, you're, once you right click and copy, you're going to paste it onto a Word document. That's the only way that I know of that you can change the, the size and everything of it. There's probably other ways to do it, but this is the way you change the size and stuff is to right click on it after it's saved. And once you get out of it, you can see there's no squares around it. And then you'll want to save it, of course. But um, the other thing that you can do from the, from the place that you're seeing it, you can right click on there and save picture as. And you can actually save it, but you still have to go in and copy it. So I've got a spot where I have uh, digitals, and I can go into the digitals. Um, so you find your place that you want to save. I've got mine already on pictures. So you want to, it, it pops up on pictures on mine because it's set for that um, when you save, save as, save as a picture. So if I go into digital stamps, then I have different spots for them. And I have one for Whoopsie Daisy, and I can go in here and, and uh, click on it and um, whoopsie daisy and then I can have the name of it and save it and she's already in there um, I think she's already in there maybe not let me just go ahead and save her so she's a flower girl but anyway that's a freebie so you can color her and if you want to know how other people have colored her or how other people have done this since it's new for you you can also go into Google and I like to go to Google and then just type in um, I type in uh, flower whoopsie daisy flower girl and it will pull up websites or blogs of people who have colored this little girl hopefully now I don't see any on this one um, I see whoopsie daisy blog spot so it might be there or it might be the same one we just went to no this is the whoopsie daisy blog spot and but I don't see any pictures but that's how you do you just look and see if you can find one of uh, somebody else who's colored it and um, let's see if there's anything. This one says just freebies. Uh, that's she's already. That's on another website. That's free ones. So just play around with it. And like I said, you can email me if you have questions, and I'll be glad to walk you through it or help you out in any way I can. So thank you, and have a fantastic day. And hope to see you soon. Bye.